So it is the significance of 400 degree exhaust gas temperature as it relates to the IC engine. Well, it's a lot. Hi, this is Roger, back with Burke Engine TV. And very quickly, I'll just show you that I'm working on an audio program or with an audio program that's going to show me the amplitudes and it's very very useful tuning information and it also shows me the pure sinusoidal action of uh, Burke's invention. So significance of 400 degrees? Well let me take you over and show you. Okay let's see back to the bench over here and the significance of this is related to this. And that's a hole in a piston. Uh, it wasn't blown out, that was melted out, that was blown out. And how does that relate to this? It's a rifle cartridge. We all know how, bang, sends the bullet at a high rate of speed. When the powder is burned in your engine, it doesn't burn anywhere near that fast, anywhere supersonic speed. What did Burke know about this? And how did he figure a way to capture that energy? Well, he did. And here it is. It's the rod yoke assembly. And link that with the roller cam, both of which have been extremely reliable. I went ahead and had the, uh, the rods chromed. Okay, for good for good measure as I did on my first proto a long time ago and then over to the uh, engine itself right here she's been running pretty good I put new rings in one cylinder the exhaust I don't know let me get a get a uh, flashlight here and I'll show you what the exhaust looks like and here we go we got a nice brownish color going on in there. This is not a soupy, oily mess that what you would see in a conventional two-stroke engine. And this is a two-stroke. What's going on is the combustion is actually using the two-stroke, the oil. It's not two-stroke oil, but the oil that I'm using as fuel. So I'm very happy with that. The exhaust gas temperature is what you want to know about in an, an IC engine because it stands to reason. It's a heat engine. It's as simple as that and it requires heat expansion to push the pistons down. Well if that's the case then how come we're running all that extra heat out the exhaust? And that's exactly what this engine project is all about. What did Burke know about all of this stuff that we don't know and we don't use but here's what I'm doing now this is the four cylinder and this is two of the 30 power heads, 30 inch power heads. This would be 60 cubic inch or one liter and you can see the way the rod yokes assembly are going to alternate. The magneto is turned and it's not tied down. But you can see the action of the rods. And this is significant because a straight rod is going to be able to bear, you can't, let, let me put it this way. Take your crankshaft with your rods or conventional, put it in a press and try and do something like this. Put some pressure on the top of it. You can't do it because the rods are just going to slip out of the way. But with Burke's design, the shot goes right down the rod through the plates to the other side. It's not really attached to the roller cam. The roller cam just rolls around inside this cage. And that's been a source of criticism too. But I'm telling you, after last inspection, these things mic up really nice and a really good surface on the bronze. So that's coming to put the prototype engine back together. So I got a full plate and uh, I'm getting the tools together and learning how to use them and prove these guys uh, wrong. The world passed up a magnificent chance to have great, clean internal combustion engines capable of running on biofuels, not expensive to manufacture. I was quoted 
in China years ago, believe it or not, in China, I believe this was around the year 2000 or 01, uh, $330 each, but we had to buy 10,000. And I had doubts about their metallurgy. But anyway, that's where the project is right now. I'm doing the best I can with it. I had to uh, curtail the operation today because we've got uh, good old Maine weather coming at us. And uh, I've got the plow and stuff inside the barn, so I decided today that I'm just going to go ahead and maybe make a video and explain why I think uh, Burke is better. But it just makes common sense. Uh, you got heat in, heat out. If your temperature going in is 80 degrees and your temperature going out is 380 degrees, the 300 degree def differential is absolutely c incredible. But look at that differential if you're dealing with an exhaust gas temperature of over a thousand degrees, or in some cases even higher. So I think Bork got a raw deal. There's people out there that say it's been debunked and they refer to this one uh, paper which I've read and the truth is, I won't mention any names, but the person who did that paper didn't even use an original Burke engine. No, it was a Vox engine that he tested. And if you study these things and you know as much about it, uh, the difference between the two of them, you'll realize that uh, no one has yet debunked it. Let's turn that around. Nobody's bunked it. <laughs> so anyway, that's the condition of the whole project right now, and I'm still liking it a lot. We've got uh, some pistons coming with some very high-tech coatings on it. Same coatings that are used in a Formula One uh, pistons for the uh, proto engine. And uh, that will be going back together uh, as soon as those come in. So that's what it's looking like up to date here. And so far I've got the low EGT. I've got great uh, fuel consumption. It matches what Burke said. What I've been putting out, a half gallon an hour, and that seems to be pretty right. It runs on really dirt fuel. Fuel that was uh, given to me four years ago uh, by people up around the Great Lakes where they could get the uh, the uh, low octane or no octane, they call it uh, camp fuel. And I've been running that in it and the, the coloration of the plugs uh, is determined by the fuels I've been using. The EGT may go up a little bit with different fuels and also the, um, uh, not the EGT, but uh, cylinder head temperature. And uh, they've been saying, uh, oh, cylinder head temperature, if you use detonation, is going to be bananas. But I've been getting pretty consistent, 300 and th to 350, depending on the amount, uh, excuse me, the type of fuel that I've been using. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Wintertime is a little tough, though. I do like to have the door open, different additives and oil and stuff. It is experimental, but... Uh, yeah, the audio program that I got is really, really, really uh, something else. I, I may even uh, go ahead and, and get out of the trial package and actually pay them for it. But, uh, so that's it. That's research on a shoestring. Um, if you enjoy this stuff, let me know. But uh, Russ Burke was right. Simply as that. Get the, uh, get the documentary that I referred to in the other videos. And go ahead and uh, and give it a look at that. There's some of his family information. You'll be say this is bunk. It isn't. If you if you read the whole thing, if you look through it, you'll see what you're looking for. Anyway, next time. Thanks a lot.